Hello hackers, welcome back to the channel. You are watching the Hacker Associate Show. In this section, I'm going to focus on a live bug. This is a recent bug. I'm going to focus on Iwanti Cloud Service Appliances and the CV is 2024-8963. We are going to focus on this particular bug. So if you want to identify the same bug in your enterprise, you follow the same approaches which I followed okay, in order to identify the bug. I'm going to give you all the steps, each and everything, okay, step by step, you follow the same thing and you can basically hunt for this particular vulnerability. So today you will learn a lot of thing, okay, from this particular video, you'll get an idea like what is CV uh, 2024-8963 and how to identify a part transversal specifically on Iwanti cloud service appliances. So I'm going to see you, okay, in the practical section, learn from this particular video and if you have any issue, please write in the comment section and have a great day. See you in the practical section. Hello everyone, oh, welcome to Hacker Associate. Welcome back to the channel. You are watching the Hacker Associate show. So today I'm going to focus on the re uh, this recent bug that is called Iwanti Cloud Service Appliances Path Transversal, formerly we call it a LAN desk. What do you mean by this bug and how to create a POC and how as a attacker we can identify this issue specifically on the live application. So that exactly I am going to talk okay today. So as you know, okay, Path Transversal is nothing but the vulnerability has been discovered in Iwanti Cloud Service appliances formerly we call it a land desk and here okay if you go to uh, project discovery that is basically here this is the cloud project discovery this is called i want the cloud service appliance part transversal vulnerability and this is called cv 2024-8963 so this is the end point okay you can see clearly uh, this is the issue okay here right so i'm going to show you how to identify these issues and how to do this thing okay live application so uh, here okay i'm i'm going to show you this poc so you can see clearly uh, i use nuclei templates and uh, i just hit okay on these ip addresses and you can see clearly i got the bug so let's see this part in practical things or we can see uh, see this thing in the live manner so here you can see this is basically my terminus application i'm going to connect to my vps let's connect here this is my vps server the cloud vps server so in this case, you can see clearly uh, like I have done a lot of thing here and I need to go to the cloud pen test directory. This is the pen test directory. And uh, here, if you see, let me zoom for you. In this case, you can see I have a nuclear template for this and we can also create our own nuclear template. Okay. So if you want, you can check on project discovery, the samples and all other things. So if you go here, nuclear exploit cloud. And here you can see I have this particular folder. That's how I target my things. Okay, I always get a folder and I can do all the research there, right? And here you can see I have these templates and uh, this is the hack IPs and this is the live networks IP addresses. So generally I use a shorten actually uh, in order to enumerate all these shorten. Uh, first you can init and the API key. Okay. And once you initialize the API key, you can use the shorten to enumerate the IP address with the, with the help of shorten search command, like shorten search, and you can give the title, whatever you want to search, okay, here. And after that, okay, you can specify uh, the limit. Example, let's say I want up to 500, you know, details. And you can specify the fields, which is FIE, LDS. And uh, suppose I need to search for a string, so a IP address basically. So str and then minus o you can basically output dot txt you can create okay so in my case uh, you can see clearly this is the ip address so if i just do cat on this area here you can see these are all ip address right so you need to be perfect okay in enumeration so if you have perfect enumeration okay then okay you will able to get all the information here as i mentioned how to do it this is the command okay like you can use it but you just need to search the title title okay basically you can use i'll tell you uh, you can go to project discovery if you want this is the title okay any one of the title you can check and see what exactly is coming right once you have all this then uh, next part okay you can use httpx like this httpx and you can specify minus l uh, you can see these hack ips 
okay that's it and you can simple uh, press enter and you can see these are all live networks live ip address we can work with this and once it is done okay you can create an output file of this and after that okay you can run nuclei template okay on this this is a nuclei and i have live okay networks and you can specify the nuclei templates so let's see okay what are the templates are available so i have i want the nuclear template or yaml and when you press enter and you can see it is scanning and we got the endpoints so when you click here and you can see clearly it is opening and i can simple sign in and you can clearly see that okay like uh, we got this particular page admin and then role mm -hmm. admin administrator set password and everything we can see here right this is exactly the vulnerability right and i have already created some notes for you so first i'll tell you vulnerability details right this is I want the CSA formerly called Lendes version before 4.6 page 519 critical you can see 9.1 attack vector remote network based attack no authentication required high sensitive data exposure and so on potential exploitation a remote unauthenticated attacker can exploit his vulnerability to access restricted files or directory gain insight into sensitive configuration and elevate privilege or leverage the information for further exploitation mitigation you need to patch it immediately upgrade to i want the csa 4.6 patch 519 or later monitor log look for unusual access pattern like seam and other thing you can activate it right security incident event management and network segmentation like isolate the csa server from untrusted network so that's how you can perform a live thing okay that is called live bug hunting and if you want to learn all these things specifically on live applications you can check out okay this is my program on hackerassociate.com advanced web application penetration testing this will teach you a complete a black hat approach regarding web application assessment so thank you for watching the video and uh, if you are new to the channel please subscribe it and don't forget you know uh, to follow this channel because here we are updating daily basis and you can join our community on linkedin we already have 110k plus people follow our community thank you for watching the video have a great day see you in the next episode